everyone welcome back to my channel if you ever here before my name is Enric Prasetyo and this time we will continue our tutorial on how to load our skin we will continue our project I will be covering some material here the first I want to talk about is loadskinmod.additive if we ever use the um, loadskinmod.co now we gonna use loadskinmod.additive and I'm gonna show you the example and I also gonna show you how to make background music for your games this background music will not be destroyed when you load skin after skin after skin they will always exist and then the most important thing is that your music will always playing even if we have switch skin the music will play without pause without stopping so that what i will be covering now so last time we've ever used load mode dot single now let's try the additive mode this mod will load skin without destroying preview skin so here's for example currently I open my skin main menu and when I load skin one the object that exists in skin main menu will be included into skin one because we've select the load mode into additive in our skin manager let's try it here we go let's click load skin one okay and now you can see in the uh, hierarchy here there's two skin open the skin main menu was also included just main menu and skin one and there's another one here don't destroy on load which is empty we're gonna talk about that later on this is the load skin mode dot additive join to skin at on or multiple skin at on so now let's try load mode dot single to see the difference let's pay attention on the hierarchy load mode dot single would only load one skin without include the free view skin let's go back into the main menu let's see it to the additive mode again there's a little bit issue well actually it's not an issue let's just load skin one and I will explain it load skin one and there's our skin main menu and the skin one if you look into the console view let's dock it here if we look into it we will see a lot of log telling us that in this game there's two audio listener in this game please ensure that there is always exactly one audio listener in the skin so we are not allowed to use multiple audio listener at once so why is this happening because our preview scan in the main menu there's an object main camera which has, has an audio listener on it and also we have audio listener in skin one so now it's two of them so that's why we're gonna use don't destroy on load where we can select which is the object that will be include let's talk about it first thing first change load mode into single and then create a new C subscript I'm just gonna name it don't destroy me double click on it to open we're not gonna need this void update and stop function let's add void awake here this method actually nearly as void start yet it called earlier 
they get called before the void star is called uh, or precisely they get called when our script is being loaded so let's add our code here what we gonna need is just a single line of code this don't uh, no 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 write don't destroy on load method and we need to passing one argument type object game object so whenever void await is get called we will call don't destroy on load and our game object will be list to don't destroy or our mono behavior dot game object or in the other words are our own game object so this object will not be destroyed when we load another skin save it go back into unity let's create a new object here right click on hierarchy select create empty and I'm just gonna name it BGM for background music and then add a component which uh, the script that we've just created don't destroy me okay that's it with this script attached to this game object this game object will not be destroyed when we load skin after skin after skin save the skin control s make sure you load make sure your load mode is single and then let's test it And then let's load skin one. And yeah, our BGM object is included into skin one. They are not destroyed. And uh, here's another problem. When we go back into the main menu, because this BGM object on skin one, and don't destroy me attached to it. Hey, don't destroy me, bro so they will include into main menu when we go back here for example i hit back and now there's two big game object in this skin and the music also will be two they will collide uh, but don't worry about it we will still have a way to solve that problem so let's create a new script c subscript name it background music open it hit reload all and again we are not gonna need those two function replace it with fade awake and then oops oh damn why this happening again close this script hit yes and then hit reopen it so last so last time this script is not open correctly because Microsoft Visual Studio is not update its solution automatically because it has not been integrated with Unity correctly. Well, actually, there's a plugin to integrate it, but I'm not using it right now. So yeah, here I have music. Let's create a new folder here. Name it sound. Create a new folder again, name it music, and then let's import our music that I've also composed. Let's import this one, just drag and drop it here. If you wanna hear my music, please visit my SoundCloud page, link below. Alright, Shadow, let's test the music. Okay. Let's continue our script. First thing first, we gonna need a reference into the object audio audio source. Let's create public variable pipe audio source and let's make let's name it my audio source. And then let's create another variable here. Rather than using public, I'm also gonna use static keyword here. Public static type game object name game big game object why i'm using the static keyword public static game object uh, i'm making it static because 
I want to access this variable outside this script and so that this field or this variable will not be subjected to an object so whatever if it's the object are exist or not this variable will always exist and they will not be reset even if, even if we destroy our background music object so what we gonna need is we gonna check if the bgm object variable is empty or not if true then we return because there's already bgm object in the skin and if not true um, if this check give us false uh, that mean the bgm that mean that mean the bgm object has not been updated this return keyword will not be called and we can continue running this execution below the code if my audio source dot play to play our music if there's no big game object but if there's a big game object this line will not be executed and also don't forget here after we play it we need to apply them into our static variable bgm object is equal to game object or our own object and here if there's already bgm object then we should destroy ourselves remove one of bgm object destroy game object yeah there we go it's pretty simple let's go back into unity and add your script to bgm object background music and also don't forget to add audio source component into it audio source and then let's apply our audio clip that we've just import shadow drag and drop it into this slot and then uncheck play on awake and check loop so they will be loop hit save let's try it and yeah we got an error here i'm forget to assign my audio source let's apply them here drag and drop it like this Save it again, hit play again, and then yeah, the music has just played. And whenever we load skin 1, or skin 2, or skin 3, the BGM object will not be destroyed, and the music will also keep playing. Let's try to load skin 1. Yeah, the music keep playing, and BGM object is not destroyed. Go back to main menu. And there's only one big game object. Let's try to open skin 2. Woohoo! There's an error. Because the skin 2 is not exist anymore. Because I just delete it yesterday. So that's it. So that's it. That's how it's done. The point is big game object will not be destroyed because we have added a script don't destroy me and there's no more multiple big game object anymore when we go back to the main menu because we have added a script background music well the script will destroy one of the big game object when music have already played so that's all if you have any problem, let me know in the comment below. Thumbs up this video if you like it. Share this tutorial if you found it useful. And subscribe if you want more videos. Bye bye, I will see you again in the next videos.